Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about preparing for hard times. It's sort of been crazy lately. <laughs> like, it's just been nutty. And, you know, unfortunately, um, you know, there's a lot of um, people are getting sick. People are getting unemployed or having their hours cut back. And that's in, like, every industry, it seems like. And we're going to talk a little bit about how we can come together, some things that you can do, some th ways to prepare, and just sort of a mentality shift, I think, that will help. And also, if you're interested, um, yesterday I gave away my JavaScript course because I was trying to think what I could do to help people, right? And, um, you know, and so hence I'm making this video. I came up with two things. I can make a video giving some, some advice and some of the things that I'm doing. And two, I can give away one of my courses to give people something to learn, something to do. So if you're interested in my JavaScript course, it's eight hours long. It's completely free for the next two, three days. And uh, if you get it after that, and you can't you can't get access to it, shoot me a message. I'll send you. I'll send. I'll create a new coupon code. I can only create four coupon codes uh, a month. So, uh, but if it's in those next couple days, I'd be happy to do it. But something to give you to do to sort of pass the time, to learn new skill, to get better. Um, you know, we all have to sort of look out for each other. And these are some of the things that I thought I could do to try and give back. So let's talk about it a little bit. <laughs> I'd like to take a moment to thank our long-term sponsor, Dev Mountain Coding Bootcamp. I've been partnered up with Dev Mountain for a couple of years now, and I've had the chance to see multiple campuses and housing. I've been really impressed. Dev Mountain has a couple different programs from web dev to iOS development, software QA, and UX design. Some are after hours part time programs, and f some are fully immersive programs where they actually include housing at no additional cost so you can get up and go. If you're interested in finding out more, there's a link in the description below. So, I've made similar videos in the past. I think I have. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm, I'm sort of a. Um, the financial conservative in a sense of I don't carry debt if I can avoid it. I um, First thing I did when I um, got my dev job <laughs> was I paid off all debt. That was it, uh, which I made plenty of money mistakes. And so part of the reason that I, I've done that is because I, I've made those same mistakes. I don't want to make them again. I understand what that happens. And one thing that it'll lead you to is... Um, sort of building a rainy day fund and if you have if you don't have a rainy day fund or a war chest that's what i like to call it. i like to call it the war chest if you don't have that it's time to build one pretty quickly um we i i don't even want to say we're in bad times it seems that the bad times are here you know three million people applied for unemployment this week now people are going to argue that that's going to go down it's going to go up there's a stimulus package all this sort of stuff it's a scary time. It's changed when so when large portions of your company are changing in various directions and you have entire states shutting down and organizations are cutting back hours. And it's not just like some people think that this doesn't impact service workers and things like that and we just did a in the last so we we recorded an episode Eric and I uh, on this very topic for the podcast and that was maybe a week ago. In the last week, I've had several colleagues of mine, former colleagues, I should say, who work at like consulting agencies who have said all of their clients, literally all of them, piece by piece, have reached out and halted or canceled their contracts. Now, the consulting companies, because that's usually the first step. You know, it's one of the things that I don't necessarily like about being a consultant. And I've tried to avoid, um, but what ends up happening is when when companies are looking for to save money that's one of the areas that they go in and i've i've seen that happen uh, numerous places and um for them they've they've had you know luckily some of my my buddies haven't been let go yet but their workers starting to implement things hey why don't you guys take unpaid vacation why don't you use your paid vacation what about 32 hour work weeks you know, everybody choose a day that you're not going to work and start taking it off. And, you know, what, com generally speaking, especially in development, when it's so hard to find good developers, is they're going to do their best to keep you. They really are because it, you, you typically make them money and then they give you a piece, right? That's how it works with these consulting companies. And um, 
it's a scary time for a lot of people because, um, you know, a lot of people are living paycheck to paycheck, and that's rough. I've been there the majority of my life, and I, I won't ever go back to if I can avoid it. I'll, I'll do my best, and you know, if you have a rainy day fund, and right now, now is the time to grow it. Now, if you're at three months, go to six. If you're at six months, go to nine. If you're nine, go to a year. I'll be doubling my rainy day fund as soon as I can. It's going to take me a couple of months, but um, I've been putting money in it. This is pretty much all this happened. When you start seeing like craziness in the world, um, sort of my mentality is to hunker down a little bit. It's not the time to to maybe jump jobs. It's not the time, unless there's a big reward, right? It's all risk versus reward. If you're going from 40 to 80K, jump jobs. But if you're going from 40 to 45 or 40 to 40 <laughs> or 90 to 100, maybe just hang tight for a little bit, right? So you sort of, you know, it's a little bit easier that way. You have that reputation with your current workplace. But a lot of people are going through hard times and are going to as well. It's not like it's over. I mean, right now, as I'm filming this video, I saw, I was watching a video on here. I see that Joshua Flukes um, doing a live stream and his dad is on a, a breathing machine, a ventilator. And, you know, some of us, it, it it's unfortunate because this is how a lot of us work, right? A lot of us work where, well, they say, I don't know anybody with, you know, X, Y, and Z. I don't, this isn't happening to anybody I know until it does, right? Until, you know, you have colleagues, friends, all this and starts impacting them. And, and then maybe you care, but sometimes it's too late. Sometimes your impact that you can have is too little. Um, so, and I, I'm guilty of this as well, right? I'm not perfect, right? Um, I'm I'm so imperfect that I'm single. <laughs> Cause nobody wants me. Uh, except my pups. Uh, that's an awful joke. Some of you are going to think I'm like just picking on myself. I'm trying to make light of uh, current situations. you got to be able to poke fun at yourself or, or you're just sort of a douchebag. <laughs> um, but now is the time to try and help out others. And it's it's encouraging to see people. And at first... I, I can admit that I sort of snicker. Um, it's hard to break yourself of this. I've always been of the mentality, and we can say this is right or wrong, that all I care about is what I can directly control. And typically, that's my friends and that's my family. I only help, like, I don't donate to charities, and there's a whole whole bunch of reasons why, um, because some of the money gets lost in various ways. I'm sort of opposed to it, um, and I, I donate my time instead, right? I'm more than happy to go and mentor kids for free at a charity than I am to give them $100. Um, I find ways to work with for me, and... But typically, when I'm trying to give back, it's to my friends and family, those who I interact with on a daily basis and who have had my back. And, you know, one thing I, I said to myself is maybe that's a selfish approach. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is. And I, I generally think I think it's a logical approach, right? Help those who have helped you and are, you know, could help you and that you have cared for and have cared for you. It makes sense. Um but it also makes sense to help out your community in various ways. My uh, my was it stepmom shared a video the other day of uh, she was making like homemade cough syrup and stuff like that. It's <laughs> which I I sort of is sort of crazy. And I then I um, you know I I have a friend who she sews for a living in various aspects, and she's making surgical masks for people and donating them right, and. And she's knocking out, you know, five to ten an hour. Just that's all she's doing. Not getting paid, donating them, donating them, donating, them, making sort of homemade surgical masks. And so I thought to myself, what can I do? And I can make this video, and I can give a course away to people. And I I hope people take advantage of it, but also I hope they take advantage of other things like Free Code Camp. And I think Free Code Camp said they had five million users. It took them a couple of years to get to 5 million users. In the last month, they went to 10 million because of everyone trying to learn some, a new skill, learn something that's going to help them work remote or better themselves with the time that they have. So many of us are just trying to survive. And I I was having this conversation with um, 
a, a girl I've been texting with that oftentimes it's hard to connect with other people who um, maybe haven't quite got out of the grind because and I, I understand this because you don't have time to thrive. You only have time to survive. Does that make sense? Like, I, I don't want to, it's not a money thing. It's a, it's a where you're at in life thing. And it's very hard at times. And so many people, even though it's a very awkward situation where now you're just forced to be at home where you have a little bit of time to yourself and now you can thrive. Now you can take advantage. And, you know, so many people are going to be worried about that paycheck. I understand that. Um, sometimes those things that you can do and something you know, one thing that you can do is educate yourself and, and work towards that. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to give my course out for free. Um, and I, I encourage you to find ways that you can, you can help out in various ways, whether it's your local community and, you know, we're all doing our part, do it the whole self quarantine stuff. And I, um, I leave the house about once every five days to buy food right now. Um, it's driving me insane to be quite frank with you. I, um, you know, one, I'm not used to being alone. Uh, two, I'm in my house for a living. Like normally it's normally not a problem. And like, I swear to God, my dogs learned English. Like I just, (laughs) we're having conversations now. I'm getting a little bit of cabin fever at times. Um, but you know, we should all figure out how we can help each other out. Cause it's, it's rough out there, man. It's rough out there, even when it's not this rough. You know what I mean? Like it's it's rough. <laughs> it's it's rough. Um, people are, you know, scared. People don't know what to do. And I think we can all help out in various little ways. And this is one little way that I can help out. And I don't, you know, I'm sure there's other ways that I can help out as well. I'm trying to figure those out. And we don't need to kill ourselves, but, you know, a little act of kindness is a ripple, right? A little act of caring, a little act of help ripples out. And, like, how I came to this was because other I saw other people doing things. And, I, you know, it didn't occur to me. Things don't occur to me a lot of times. You know what occurs to me? Doing a good job at work, building side projects, and working on those side projects. That's really the only thing that occurs to me. That and... Uh, not dying alone. That's that's basically it. Um, I forget to feed my dogs half the time. They have to come up on my chair and like scratch me. I'm like, what are they scratching me? Oh, you're hungry. Okay. I just sometimes I'm I'm a simpleton. I really am. I I can do a couple things well, and programming happens to be one of them. But being aware isn't something I've always been great at. So. You know, you go out and you start seeing these things again and again and again. And finally, at least with me, sometimes things click. I'm like, I should do something. So I encourage you all to make it the most out of the opportunity, um, even if it's an opportunity you didn't want, right? I can't imagine anybody wants to have their hours cut back or be unemployed or be stuck in the house all the day, all day with their kids, <laughs> uh, heaven forbid, uh, who are out from school and you're going through all this craziness. I have friends who have... They have family members that have their mothers and fathers who, you know, the mom works as a nurse and they're in their, you know, their senior citizens. And so the husband or the grandfather is staying out of friends because they don't want that to come back to the house. And, you know, it's it's crazy out there. We sort of have to take care of each other, um, you know, all of us. Right. And so I encourage you to think about what you can do. We can all do a little something. We can all help out in other in various ways. And. I'm going to think a little bit more about how I can help out. And, you know, I, and what may happen is you may have another impact on somebody else who will do something and somebody else. And you sort of have this butterfly effect. And so I I hope that you flap your wings and you create that effect. But, uh, as always guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I, um, I wish all of you who are having a hard time the best know that, hard times uh, as somebody who has gone through them uh, numerous points in his life that they are temporary that they have limits and then one day the hard times stop and then you start going in the other direction and you just have to be there for that day 
just have to stand up and keep moving forward. So I, I hope that you keep moving forward. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to check out my latest course, the 100 Front End Interview Questions Challenge to make sure that you ace those front end interviews. Smash that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.